What's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, and today I'm here with y'all with a little quick tip, something simple and easy for everybody to do. I call it 808 looping. What that is, basically, a lot of people, when they making beats in FL Studio, their 808s kind of clash together when it, like, you do have them double 808s and stuff. I'm going to show you how to cancel that out to where it does not do that. I'm going to show you two simple ways to do it. Here's the loop I got right now. You tell me what's wrong with it. Yeah, as you can see, them dang 808s are clashing with each other and they're overlapping. Now, there's two simple ways to fix this. First way is you can right click and just click cut itself. Now you have. Simple enough. Now, the other way that gives you more control of your 808s. What you're gonna do is click your little sample right here. You can go to this missile, uh, no, it's my bad. Go to the second one. The, and this will bring up the whole pan, volume, cut, resistant, pitch, whatever section. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your attack all the way down, your hold all the way up, the decay all the way down, the sustain all the way down, and the release all the way down. And that's called truncating. Basically what that does is the longer you hold the note, the longer it plays, and when you let go, it stops. So it sounds like this. So you go your piano roll and stretch your notes to however long you want it to be, like so, and it plays accordingly. Simple, very, very simple. And that's it for that. That's 808 looping. Two quick ways to get your songs and give you more control of your 808s. That way you can, you know, make them bangers that you be trying to make, you know. Anyway, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, and I'm out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.